Another tax season is here and let's be honest, filing taxes can be a headache. Managing endless paperwork, struggling to scan and edit documents, IRS forms that just won't let you type. Luckily, PDF Element 11 is the ultimate solution to make tax filing seamless. Filing taxes sounds simple until you actually sit down to do it. Whether you're handling your personal income tax or small business taxes, finding the right documents, filling out forms correctly and making sure everything is accurate can be a little overwhelming. But don't worry, PDF Element has you covered. Hello everyone and welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. My name's Chris and in today's video I'll show you how to tackle tax season effortlessly by organizing, editing and securing your documents in just a few simple steps. Whether you're filing for the first time or just looking to streamline the process, let's make 2025 tax season stress free. Filing your taxes electronically through the IRS e-file system is the fastest way to get your refund. It skips the hassle of mailing paperwork and speeds up processing times. If you choose direct deposit, it gets even better because your refund goes straight into your bank account. No waiting for a check in the mail. However, the drawback of this method is that you can only file using IRS approved e-filing software such as the IRS website's built-in free file feature or by asking a tax professional to file it for you. While the IRS itself doesn't charge for e-filing, some of these services may well do. Now, if you're not familiar with how to fill out tax forms and you're looking for an easy free option, the IRS website offers a free step-by-step -step taxed software for eligible taxpayers with an adjusted gross income of 84,000 or less. This tool helps you file your return at no cost. It's a great option if you qualify, but keep in mind that not everyone will. Then there's the manual standard method. It might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's surprisingly simple and arguably the best option. It's completely free, gives you full control over your tax return and helps you better understand your finances. Plus this method allows you to keep digital copies of your tax returns, maintaining a neat record of your filing history. Something you'll truly appreciate if you ever face an audit. And despite how complicated it may seem, filling out Form 1040 isn't as hard as you might think. Believe it or not, Form 1040 began as a simple four-page document, including its instructions back in 1914. Over time, as the form became more complex, the instructions followed suit, eventually growing to over 100 pages, far from the simplicity it once had. To address this, the IRS introduced a building block approach in 2018. Instead of sifting through pages of irrelevant details, you now only need to attach the schedules that apply to your specific financial situation. This keeps things clear, relevant, and easy to manage. So if you're thinking about giving this method a try, there are some tips and tricks I'd like to share with you. For instance, before jumping into the forms, there are a few key documents you need to gather first. First up, you'll want to have your social security number handy. You can find it on your social security card or if you're looking for it in your financial paperwork, check things like your W-2 or 1099 forms. It'll show up as a nine digit number formatted like this. It may also appear in tax returns or pay stubs Look out for that SSN label. Next, make sure you have your bank account details ready. You can find your account number at the bottom of your checks if you use them, or you can grab your bank statement, either digital or physical. If you have online banking, you'll be able to pull up your account number directly from there too. Bank account numbers typically range from 10 to 12 digits, while the routing number, which helps identify the bank, is usually a nine digit number. Finally, if you're involved in the IRS Identity Protection PIN program, you'll need your six digit identity protection pin. You'll find this on official IRS letters, which they send out annually. The pin itself is just a six digit number like this. All these documents will be needed to fill out form 1040, which means you'll probably need them handy every year. Since things like your social security number, bank account and routing number won't change, except for the IP pin, it makes sense to keep them all in one place. Personally, I'd highly recommend scanning your documents with the mobile version of PDF Element whether you're using an iOS or Android device, it's a quick and easy way to keep everything digital and organized. However, you can also just take a picture of them and then use PDF Element to convert them into PDFs, allowing you to merge them into a single password protected document and upload it to the PDF Element Cloud. That way you'll always have everything ready when tax season arrives.
Once you have your sensitive documents in order, your next step should be gathering all the important paperwork you'll need. Think of it like collecting all the pieces of a puzzle before putting it together. Form 1040 is where everything comes together. In this form you'll summarize your income, deductions, withholdings and credits to figure out if you owe any taxes or you're due for a refund. Next if you're an employee you'll need to gather Form W-2. Your employer should provide this form which shows your earnings and the taxes they've already withheld. On the other hand if you're self-employed or a freelancer then Form 1099 is what you'll need instead. And depending on your situations there are some other relevant documents for tax deductions that you probably need to gather. For example, if you own a home and pay mortgage interest, you can use Form 1098 to deduct those payments. Or if you've donated a vehicle worth more than $500, Form 1098-C lets you claim a deduction for that donation. If you or a dependent are attending school, you'll likely need Form 1098-E to deduct student loan interest, as well as Form 1098-T for tuition payments. These two forms work together if you're claiming education-related deductions or credits, helping you save on your taxes. And if you're itemizing deductions, 1040 Schedule A is where you'll report expenses like medical bills, state taxes or charitable donations. All these forms can be found and downloaded free directly from the official IRS website. All you have to do is use the search bar and type in the name of the form you're looking for. Once you hit search, the website will immediately list the matching documents along with any related resources, like instructions for filling out the forms. Once you've downloaded all the necessary forms, setting up a structured folder in your PDF Element Cloud will make this year's tax filing much easier by streamlining navigation and allowing you to quickly locate any information that you need. Plus, having everything neatly stored ensures easy access to previous filings whenever you need them in the future. Once all your documents are set up, there are a few tips you'd really like to consider while filling out your 1040. Filling out your 1040 doesn't have to be handwritten. Many people assume that filling out a 1040 by hand means grabbing a pen and writing everything manually, but that's not the case. Using software like PDF Element gives you a more efficient way to complete the form, allowing you to type directly into the fields without worrying about messy corrections. If you spot a mistake, there's no need to start over or strike true. You can simply edit the entry and move on. As long as the Home tab is active, all interactive fields remain accessible, making the process much cleaner and easier to manage. When working on your 1040, having all the necessary documents in one place can save you a lot of time and reduce the stress. By clicking on the attachment icon, you can easily reference documents like your W-2, bank statements or social security card by adding shortcuts to them within your tax file. You can even add descriptions to the attachments to make navigation simpler or remove them if you add something by accident. This way, everything is accessible from one place. If you're self-employed or run a small business, keeping track of invoices is essential for reporting income and deducting business expenses. Instead of creating invoices from scratch, you can use PDF Elements free invoice templates from the Template Mall to streamline digital invoice management. These professionally designed templates help standardize your records, ensuring all necessary details like payment dates, amounts, and client information are clearly documented. Since they are fully editable, you can customize them as needed and store them digitally for easy access during tax season. Having well-organized invoices makes it much simpler to calculate deductions and provide accurate records if needed. If you're claiming deductions, keeping track of your receipts is essential. Paper receipts can easily get lost, but having digital copies ensures that everything stays accessible and organized, especially if you use the cloud to store them. With PDF Elements mobile app, you can scan multiple receipts at once directly from your phone through the scan feature. Once saved as a PDF, you can digitalize its content through the OCR feature and highlight key amounts for a quick reference. This makes it much easier to verify expenses later, especially when reviewing multiple transactions. Once your form is complete, you may need to sign it before submission. While printing and signing by hand is always an option, using PDF Element's signature tool is a much more convenient long-term solution. Among the comment tab tools, you'll find the sign feature. This tool allows you to create and insert a digital signature directly into the document. However, if you prefer a more natural signing experience, you can use a touchscreen device to draw your signature, which can then be saved to the PDF Element Cloud.
This way your signature is always accessible, allowing you to sign documents from any device without the need for printing. Tax season really doesn't have to be a headache, especially when you have the right tools. No matter what method you choose, make sure to keep an eye on the deadline. The tips I shared today are my go-to tricks for handling tax season efficiently, and as you saw, PDF Element can simplify everything, from organizing forms, to pre-designed tax templates, to speed up the process. PDF Element gives you all the tools you need to handle tax documents effortlessly. Whether it's filling out forms, organizing receipts, or keeping everything secure in one place. In the description of this video, I've left a free download link from the official PDF Element website, so you can try it out for yourself. That way you can see firsthand how much smoother tax season can be with the right tools at your fingertips. Thanks for sticking around until the end of this video. If this one was helpful, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you're always up to date. I've got plenty more tips and tricks coming to make your work a lot easier. And if you have specific questions about PDFs, be sure to check out our other videos. You might find exactly what you need to make working with PDFs even easier. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.